glad it came out. Thank you so much for the kind words. I haven't, I haven't sent it to them yet. <laughs> I just read it. Just read it before. And Maybe that's just, just the just short version. Oh. This afternoon, Thank so. you. We go way back. She, she gave me my first good review. That's actually, very probably special. my first review ever. Yeah, my very like first review. review. That's right. So. Yeah. Big dream. If, if, if you had slammed it, I probably would have just quit, you know, because I'm a quitter. So. <laughs> oh, and here, I mean, Dave, you, you flew me out of the water on this one because you totally switched pace. You went in a new direction, and you gave us something we've never seen visually and an emotional tone. And a lot of that is due to your performance, which is just fantastic. What led you, and I guess you wrote it with Joel again. I did, yeah. What led you to take this tact this time and with this type of the matter? Well, there was, uh, I, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I've been wanting to make something that was a little more serious and a little more suspense driven and a, a little bit more plot driven. Um, I love the thriller genre. It's always been something that I wanted to do but didn't feel like I had the skill set to do but then it, it came time and so I just tackled it as best I could. Now Pepe, it's, it's strange for you. We don't get to see you jumping into a leading man role that often. No, but I've actually been playing one for 45 years. I've been with my wife for 45 years. So there's no better yeah, leading, leading man role than this. What was it about Dave's script that made you jump in? to this project with such an important role and such a lead role? Is that he told me after we did our first film together that he was going to write me a lead. And uh, and that's that's exciting when a writer comes up to you. It's only happened a few times in my career after a hundred movies to get one that's, uh, you know, crafted for me, but giving me a totally different bet on myself, how to portray it. He was having me watch uh, Humphrey Bogart and the Maltese Falcon and, <laughs> and all those great thrillers. And, and just knowing Dave and working with him, I knew it was going to be exciting. And the fact that it was that, that it's Japanese and English, I'm being Latino and being in this country that is so afraid of anybody else outside of our next door neighbor. Uh, when I, uh, almost 50 years ago, I went to work at the World's Fair at the Moroccan Pavilion. I was a barker and I got to work with people from all over the world. And I saw how exciting that was and to delve into different cultures and watch this movie take how, how it how it was created and how he just started it and with these characters. And, getting to work with Ayako uh, for about a year before we ever started filming. So we got to rehearse our scenes and work it out and become friends. And, and uh, we were, I know I was very excited to work with her. And, and obviously to work with, uh, I know Dave can do all kinds of stuff. And it's gonna be exciting to see uh, the studios pick him up and trying to get him to do other kind of things. And I'm glad you said that because especially with this new element in your repertoire, this just opens up a whole new field for you. Let's hope so. <laughs> it will. So how was it working with this guy? <laughs> 
I can well, say so that. that. Yes. But um, I worked with him for the, uh, the his last film. Uh, the, the, the surrogate Valentine. Uh, they like him. Yeah, yeah. So which was like very very off of the off of the style of shooting. It was more uh, like improv style, and so like. And then um, I enjoyed it very much, but then he, when he mentioned about this new man from Reno, he wanted to approach in a very, very opposite way. Like everything is more calculated and like more um, rehearsed a lot for about a year. <laughs> so, which is which was wonderful experience too. So both are, and he, he does both ways very awesomely. He does. <laughs> yeah. he does. So, do we have a release for this or distribution? Looking for distribution right now, so that's that's what I'm. I'll be working on the next little while. If if you don't get something out of this festival, they're fools. <laughs> nice, Dave. Yeah. Dave, thank you. Nice much to see you again. Good yeah. Time. And you. Thank you. A pleasure, Pepe. A pleasure.